Hello everyone, and welcome back to Shadows of New York. Or should I say Vampire the Masquerade Shadows of New York. And we are here. She thanks the chauffeur. 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 Let's me out of the car into a quiet neighborhood somewhere in the Queens. Seem like you were in a rush. I think I understand the crowd. She sounds probably performantly so, just to get into my good graces while it's working. Isn't this the. Uh, the scene from Coteries? Well, isn't this like Father Anderson's place? Father, Father Anthony's place. Why is that? My experience going like that was always enable a boring pat mentality. All the familiar lies we tell ourselves just to justify lusting for more repeated ad nauseum. But nauseum. <laughs> Remember, choices here don't matter yet. That was five freaking choices that actually matter. Anyway, so what lies are you telling yourself? You are immediately turned colder. Eh, you have bigger issues to worry about, sweetheart. Well, at least now I know how familiar I can get with her. Eh, that I do. Back at the art hall, you said something about God to me. But I have zero idea what to do. None whatsoever. If you're necessary interest to make over the phone before we got here to ensure your pretty little head stays attached to your neck for now, anyway. Great if I still feel way out of my death, I need to know what to do. You try to live against an investigative journalist, did you not? Well, I'm trying to get the murder. And to be sure to an investigative journalist gets too close to the heart of a politically incendiary case, it really goes well, cats are on, on the porch, bolt to the head. <laughs> so, are you afraid you might be a pawn in a game you don't understand? That your heirs consider you a disposable asset? That single wrong move might cost you everything you hold deal? Well, doesn't <laughs> that sound about right? Yep, that sounds about right. Well... By the sound of it, you understand her situation perfectly. Now don't belittle me, I need your advice. That'd be anything you want, but don't be boring, Jury. If I wanted to belittle you, I would have drowned you in platitudes long ago. Know thyself. Believe in your strength, trust no one, act confident. Turn the chessboard around and read your opponent's mind. Read. Sun Tzu and quote him incessantly. Say, do you feel... Do you feel any better now? Can I ask you something? Seems me is still not here, of course. Do you know who killed Baron Callahan? I know I have the slightest idea. Were you emotionally impacted by his death? Not at all. Did you know him? Why pass him, I'm afraid. If I am to power sooner than later, so I never bother to improve her relationship. So why are you helping me? Am I? Well, that remains to be seen. What do you mean? You don't know, want a painful and honest answer. But I do. Stepping down her... The reverend tell me to impossible to guess what she's feeling even more sore than the mask. I look at you, I see someone pitiful, someone whose hunger is fairly biological, just an analytic rush. The hunger, the vampire's urge to feed, it overpowers all other needs, and trying to ignore it is said to be the easiest way to find the beast. The dark, always flared, hungry passenger that accompanies every vampire on life for a hostile takeover. Fun times.
I shall not purge any plan to put you in a situation that is way beyond your capabilities. For my help, I was curious to see you or true cowards reveal themselves firsthand. Everything I said done, Callahan's cowards point out. You'd be a whimpering animal or a bitch taking the sports. I can't wait to find out. I don't know what to say. Is she provoking me or... You should be here any second. You have time for one more question. Well, here's the question. What do we want to ask? I mean, we know that technically. We ought to know that. So, I think we already asked this last time, but, you know, we have to ask it. What made you... In what do you do to hold so much sway over this city? I'm the best occupation in the world, and I make sure nobody's better at it than I am. And that occupation is... A socialite. And that was the real last question. Threat to throw ass of them to her. One around my age and motors from around the corner of the street. Yeah, I've never met her before, but I should describe her in two words by her or alone. I guess those words would be permanently angry, even more so than your average anarch. It must be Catherine Weeze. It must be me and Morgan. A pleasure to make your acquaintance. And a pleasure mutual. This your girl? Ah, uh, Julia Sawinski, the Vassamba Primogen. The Vassamba representative. I crush her automatically at this point, it's a habit. Ah, uh, good, if you were a Primogen, I might have tried to kill you here now. Is Torx still on the site? Nah, I told her to take it from, I take it from here. But in tonight, he needs to look like a natural candidate for the leader of the New York City Anarchs. Don't take a lot of driving around in negotiations. How do you react to finding Callahan's remains? He hasn't sadly elaborated on his feelings. I swear he reached the same. He reacted the same way every true believer in the cause did. It's this complicated mess of all the possible feelings under the moon. So, he was the first one who seen the murder site? Oh, so you're already calling it a murder site. Does the ivory tower know something we don't? Not the official position, but I expect a lot of them to think it's Shark who stood to benefit the most from the boss's death. And it sounds like he's quick to jump on new opportunities. Yeah, you don't know him. Yeah, that's why I love to meet him. And ask him some questions, especially if he was the one who found the body. Well, if you mean talking to her, it won't be tonight. He's too busy. Well, I was assigned to investigate. I won't be able to do it properly if I'm not able to question a key witness. And wait for him um, to see you this week. This week? Aren't the tensions a little too high for delaying an investigation like this? We'll talk to workers of at it, and making sure they won't get hired, so boo fucking who? It's a right-hand woman, though. You got any questions? Straight them to me. Well, maybe the two of you should just head to Callahan's office. The discussion here does not seem to go in the right direction. No, in a particularly interesting one. You are not coming? Eh, Tarkin and you are not the only ones who have to work out with them. Tonight, I trust you could take it from hell. May it be easy on her. Probably different circumstances, but the two of you have been up on the same side of the barricades. Uh huh. And yeah, take care. Dispatch your vehicle. Now yeah, follow me. I'll show you his place. Nineteenth-century style office, classical wood and smell with the stuffy air. A books, old furniture, and dust covers much of the fragrance of decay. But not all of it. This is the first time I've seen the remains of vampires and at the final death. 
George, where we all can recruit me to dust, but that's just that trace lease. Didn't happen now. But that's. Once again, you're comparing it to bloodlines. Bloodlines need to make it look. need to make vampires' deaths look, you know, vampire deaths. That's why once you killed a vampire and that, they just poofed into dust. Apparently, this how it follows different rules. Well, apparently, you didn't just, you know. It's not just a skeleton with an ash pile, basically. Here, die time catches up them. If you don't have me right now, I'd probably turn into an ugly, leaky corpse. But Callahan was well for a century old. It's looking like a dapper mummy. Yeah, should we just be a skeleton with an ash pile? Surrounding him? Like, that? isn't that how it's supposed to work? Anyway, just kept buying a heap of musty clothes. No one except for my boss, Douglas Callahan, Anarch Baron of New York City. Eh, if that's really him. He said it might be a little hard to establish the time of death. Or the cause, especially as his car doesn't have any obvious damage. What a great place to start. Have you already found anything suspicious? Eh, yeah, nothing you don't see in front of you. Uh huh. Door's the only point of entry to the room, right? Yeah, unless you count the windows, but nobody except for Callahan knew how to operate those, and they don't let air or light through. Blinds from the windows facing east. The only modern element of the room sticking out like a sore thumb. The corner made. Did it open when Torque got here? Well, that's one suspicious thing. It wasn't, it's as if Callahan locked himself in from the inside. Oh, the room murder, huh? Some glass scattered on the floor, I point at it. Could that be from the window? Dead from the outside is in perfect condition. So what's this glass? I have no idea. Why does it seem like she has her suspicions, but she may on just because of uh, fuck off camera her scum? And that's point of the wall safe, surprisingly large. Play with the lock a bit. It's a combination. It's cow hands, what made you think I know? Well, at least I tried. Definitely enough by envelope on nothing inside. Checked all the drawers. Every single one has been thoroughly emptied. And what I expected, is this how the animals go around securing crime scenes? Were these empty before Torque arrived? I don't know if I want to keep some type of evidence if I were you. Well thank you. Because the room is pretty minimal. Not a lot of points of interest that could illuminate the case, I start getting nervous. Putting the pain on the wall. Of course, you have no idea who that is. Uh, Callahan's ancestor, I guess? Eh, yeah, my idea is does everything. Let's say, uh, Look, it feels like I know dead end. I'm frustrated because I feel this investigation before I even start. There must be something more. Quick use hospital. So I walked around trying to find a student clue, me just watched me indifferently. Give me anything. Anything, goddammit. Anything. Any... Ah, right. Ghost. Well, that's always helpful. I mean, we are less on for after all. Shuffling's in and out because there's no cow hands remains. Freeze the place. You trying to help me? What do you want to worry about? In case you missed it, I'm not particularly fond of your set. That's it, my Mia knows it. Ah, uh, give me just a moment more. She goes out and knows it goes back to messaging someone on her phone. She does the shadow appears again. Once again, blink in, blink out. Could, could something be though? Push closer to our church if no clue, maybe they missed something. Getting desperate, huh? Ah, uh, just being thorough. Searched the bachelor like three times. Had nothing of interest on him. Well, how about this? Small card, barely noticeable, look a bit like a shopping list to shove deep in into an almost invisible hole in the fabric. Take out and show it to Mia. Huh. You didn't plat that in there, did you? No, did you? Shove off. What's on it? List of four names. Delangelo, Hope, Bagathon, Tamika. Hey, it's all those characters from the first one. That you could have all built up 
relationships with in Kotori. And then all you had them help you for one scene. And then they were just gone. Because who knows where Kaiser took them. Hmm. You know what this is about? Eh, it beats me. She's lying, but I don't care tomorrow night. We have a crater and ask him to help me figure it out. No, oh, thank I'm done here. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. Guess she sees me as nothing more of an enemy agent. So when will I agree to meet with Tork? If, and that's a big... If... You agree to meet you on a one-to-one -one basis. Catherine will let you know. If I won't let a loyal camera or a lapdog like you see him without her oversight anyway. Camera or a lapdog, huh? That's a risky plan, of course, in my backfire. But maybe I'd benefit if I put my loyalty to the court to question. Okay, so let's see. Does this one matter? Do 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 do. Ah, yes, it does. This one totally matters. Totally matters. Just say we have to choose some of these lanes because you know. Cause to get the good ending, which probably isn't really that good. We have to choose, you know, things compared to the bad ending. Because last time we got the bad ending, and that's because we chose things that felt like they mattered. Things that felt good, but you don't choose the good things. Because the good things don't lead to the good ending, they lead to the bad ending because of the way the riders are anyway. Let's not go into that yet. So camera and lap talk, I don't think so. Can lap talk please. Well, aren't you? Just another the type who bites the hand that feeds her with the court's favorite passion is leaving me starved. Ah, so it's like that, huh? Yeah. Trait updated. Trait? I have traits? <laughs> I'm like, I don't know where these traits are. Trait updated. Oh. Loyal only to myself. She stares me carefully. And eh, we'll keep that in mind depending on how the situation unfolds. In the meantime, have a good night. You too. You can lay out early depending on how you look at it. Once I leave Callahan's office, I head straight to Dakota's apartment. I sneak by to my bedroom, but she's up waiting for me. Eh, how was your night? See how I want to point out? I'm just allowed to have Dakota. People from my past and... Uh, let's just ignore it. Just, just deal with it, me. Shit. Eh, tomorrow. Oh, you look like something the cat dragged in. Tomorrow, I promise. But I'm worried. Don't be. Tomorrow. Give me a concern, let them close their eyes, slump some shoulders of rounds. Alright. You're all the best. I try to pitch black room and throw myself on the bed. Responsibility is the stakes. We well, always feel too slow to react properly in these situations. You have to think I want to turn off my brain. I want to drift into the void. Into the void, into the void, into the void. So, well, we could rest, or we could go do this one that we didn't do last time. Nope, I can't even go do that one. Never mind, I need to rest. <laughs> All right, tutorial, hard tutorial. You have reached your first straight. Some choices in the game will pursue you towards different ways of thinking, which will have a lasting effect on her throughout the story. So choose all these negative traits because they'll get you the good ending. Ah, sure, sure. You see a pop up on the top of the screen anytime you receive a new trait. You can always view any unlocked traits in the log screen. That's just through the top left icon. Yeah, I figured it out. Thanks, Tutorial John. Remember that ruthlessness is. 
the mark of a true Lysandra. But you might walk another path before reaching that destination. So it's telling me, be a dick. You, you, you won't be an asshole. Because, you, you know, vampires. Yeah, we get a tutorial. Oh, I saw all those icons pop up, though. I told you you'd make it big. I think it's easy doing my makeups because I can't see a mirror, so yeah. Eh, I get rid of these aspects of just using me as pawn some stupid fourth dimensional chess game. Yeah, that pretty much sums up what they do. Or should just keep you off the chessboard. Don't be glass half empty bird scale. And watch them make me a scapegoat or something. That would be a saying I could write a book about living with a twenty first century Lee Harvey Oswald. Come on, don't even joke like that. I haven't killed anyone. Tree honey, neither did Oswald. Yeah, right, I keep forgetting. That for everyone I'll keep mess your face up. Sorry. I was being when she's busy working on my make on my makeup. It's hard to take care of your appearance. So I show your face when you can't even see yourself in the mirror. Not that I've ever been particularly good at, but color sure doesn't seem to mind. I'm her golf dress up doll. Person in my own life is one of the the few good things that my side provided for me before Fox comes to show Kako. So isn't that against the rules? Just, just saying. Yeah, here we go. Normally I'd be told to find myself a ghoul, but many of our clan, myself included, find that idea of ghoul is distasteful. So yeah, ghoul. What do you get when you give a mortal your vampire blood without draining those first? An underling toady of thrall. My clan don't really like to use them, how even Kevin thought the third consort was beneath her and refused to explain it. Well, there you go. For cat people, not dark people. We don't want mindlessly faithful servers, we want to compare to rely on us, despite having in theory. Anyway, the free will not to. So we just like having people that are totally into, you know, being with vampires without being forced to being into vampires. Your relationship if I were to go to where normally... Exactly! I was going to say the kind of relationship I were to go to would normally be a breach of the masquerade's rules. The rules are different for Kennedy who are camera or Jason, even losers like me. Oh yeah, just the rules are different. And this is why we drink. Because that's because things at least they're making an effort to be like, hey, we know it doesn't make sense. We're going to try to explain why why we're doing it this way. Cause yeah, the first game was like, hey, no, you can't do that. This one's like, but your camera or Jason, you could totally do that. Right. Simplifying here, but my side made clear that her child would not own slaves, and that was the end of the discussion. And to be honest, I think the court most agreed to that request because they wanted one more thing to black me with, just in case. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you could totally have your own personal person from your own past. I mean, sure, we'll let you have one person from your past. That's great. Just means if you fuck up, we're gonna murder her in front of you. It'll be fun. <laughs> So what would you do in my place? If I had to investigate your elite's wrongdoings? Yeah. I'd probably look for those rich fucks. Pedophile rings. Look for the assholes who mention pizza sus suspiciously often. See who has powerful friends in Manhattan jail or stuff like that. Oh, come on. 
No, I'm serious. Search for the deep fraud. Yeah, a lot of small crimes were created solved in the process. So why is it with you and conspiracy theories? What do you mean? You just don't mean you're... Bosses are having eyes wide shut parties and suddenly... You don't believe in rich people's pedophile rings? I don't know, I don't know if I want to know. Apparently you have to if all the conspiracy theories are real. Like, you can't possibly believe all that shit. Half of it doesn't even make sense. Well, you want an interesting answer or a real answer? Your answer should be the more interesting one. She moves her press my face to give her thought. Everyone's lost nowadays. Just look at the world, it's drowning in fast that fail to cohere into a single convincing narrative or a story that resonates. The corporate media want you to believe in empirical thinking but always fails to deliver moral metaphysical truths. People desperately lack those. What do they do? They turn to conspiratists. And suddenly they're able to navigate the world. And why is that? Because the spiritual theories give them emotional truths that serve as the compass. Bill Gates trying to insert satanic microchips into my body? Probably not. I hope not. <laughs> now. Now. Is he a terrible person? No idea. There's ample evidence that might be the case. Then it's Rufus Business Strategy, the company used to keep to the philosophy he follows. The whole, you know, quote unquote COVID thing. People look at him, they feel. He's fishy, so when the media present him as a genius or a savior, and I pose they want to put the mark of the beast in my body, they choose to believe me. You know, with a. It's not like he just tried to, you know, Thanos snap the world or anything. <laughs> uh, I'm just saying. It's not like he had a hand in that or anything. But, you know, you can wipe out half the world's population. Or try to, anyway. So that way, you know, kill population control. And then the remaining half, you get basically all injected with something that may or may not have a potential kill switch injected through a vaccine that they could just activate at any point to, you know, whoop. Well, that person's not following the agenda. That person's not making themselves useful for society. That person's taking up space. Oh, and now they're gone. Anyway. <laughs> because it makes more emotional and metaphysical sense to them, and ultimately that's what matters most then. Uh, I don't know if I want to engage with the contents of this rant too deeply. You know this monologue yourself? Oh no, I read it on Facebook. <laughs> of course you did. Oh, figures. Just make sure if that seems okay. Oh, as far as I know, they don't cause autism. Good to hell. Anywho, I'm done. You're the best. Yeah, considering how many times I... Didn't make up on dead body, I probably have enough job experience to be a mortician by now. That sounds like it's saying real. But reality is probably the most boring thing under the sun. Well, it depends. It depends if you're basically dealing with bodies that keep getting possessed by a uh, demon. References to mortuary assistant. Then my cor <laughs> corpse is talking to pouty and self loathing. Chef, this carcass will be leaving now. It's got a job to do. Okay, I'm Tiger. Then you should do me a crater. To now report him, I hope he knows how to guide me out of this mess. Should have time for me in an hour or two. In the meantime, I suppose. It's time to find some what's the most dehumanizing word I could use. So, nourishment?
Bear told me I need to quench my hunger less often if I didn't smoke. It kills you, he said, but to start carrying itself, your organism must pretend it's alive and not use up precious vitae. Vitae, an ancient term for blood, my eyes parents rarely found outside my dusty test for some prompless camera speeches. Oh, so they usually refer to Vitae as more in the kindred sense of blood than the kind sense of blood. I love cigarettes, the way they smell, the way they burn the hot ash falling from the top, the sound of the lighter, the way they kill you, of course. I guess I need some tactical connection to who I was back when I was alive. Okay, New York City, guide my steps. Show me which two of your children I should drink up tonight. Well. Aren't you familiar? So let's see what we got. Bunny has report. The no left of my old dead drop point reads Bunny has a report. Shit, could it be Woods? Long time no see. What does one do with the go to Christmas pass not on the door? Samara so is asking me to meet her, if not for the current Samara celebration. Patricia will prove an odd choice for a secret rendezvous. So she could provide some useful insight to the case. Oh, dear, it was a lie. A fairy name for a kiss that did not taste enough to openly picture a unique taste of those. And no, I'm not in a clubbing mood, but since I need to feed, I might as well give that rumor a shot. Yeah, we remember her. Anyway. No blood, no matter how it screws is worth suffering through this noise. I didn't tell what happened to the previous DJ. It had to be said and not better for them to hire this amateur under the wire. So you to read the crowd, no sense of flow. As if that constant flashing wasn't migraine juice enough by itself. I thought I remember how an ordinary headache feels. Not the hunger though, which is why I'm here all tonight. Over here we go, bumps it to me. Head down, tears flowing down her cheeks, hands trembling. No, I understand it, I don't think it's the guy at the turn table with a major like this. Oof. Oh, I'm so sorry, I. She brought me forward, she could say, well. Say, well, well, who am I to blame? Her attached to her co retreat probably felt like a good idea. Tracy cheap boots in every potential vessel. Paper error present at this point, the smell is all I'm getting. Come to think of it, I can barely remember how alcohol tastes. That's so a polite slime for a source of blood. Usually bipedal. Usually. I have to remind myself now nah, that's dumb. The bar's pretty much free people at the moment. Hmm. Close to take a peek at the drinks menu. Actually, these are some goofy fucking names, especially from a kindred's perspective. Nah, most of my king and some of the liquor. If we own the blood or food room, I've got no reason to believe I'm different. Close drink maybe and pass it onto some yuppie drunkard. He seems to enjoy into the partner's dismay orders the fanciest drink on offer. Here's a friendly stuff just as I step away from the bar. Can't see the booth for the crowd's reaction tells me all I need to know. Looks like we have a new DJ. I mainly improves. Hallelujah. But pleasant moments. Never last some well worn dude on the wrong side of four, he decides to hit me up. Or eyes me for a brief moment slightly too late for me to outmaneuver him. Strangely, there's no. Less than this guy and yet he seems like a predator closing on his prey. Should he be the room with Deepest Delight? Kiss a dick, locking me as a blood sucker. Well, his eyes aren't doing the glowy glow, so. How come you're here all alone, sweetheart? Wait, I need. How come you are here all alone, sweetheart? Can't promise you exactly what it is. There's something irksome in the way he carries himself as he approaches me. I begin to feel fatigued, like there was a sudden drop in atmosphere pressure.
I'm just going to glare until it goes away. I'm a purely hateful glare. I find it really strange to keep my eyes on him for longer than for a sense of something about him that ruins the lyrical poetry I have, and I think he knows that. I feel spiders crawling up my spine. Is there something wrong? Yeah, let me. Hands off, asshole. Well, remember, we are a less somber. We have Oblivion or whatever the hell it is now. Instead of Art of Art, you know, Shadow Magics. We have Potence and Dominic. So how aggressive are we feeling? Because normally I just say dominant. Uh, I'm just going to dominate. I can barely focus on his eyes, but he freezes in place for a moment. Hey, Stavin, how about you go by with that guy? Sure, it's reminding your care commands and gives me an unsettling look. But in the end, he seems to do what I want him to do. Perhaps some meathead who immediately turns hostile. Meathead's first punch breaks the guy's nose. I don't know. Wait to see the second one. Now we have time to bail and not lower our back. But before we reach the it's the perfect hook will promote you. Bumps into me once again. This time, I know it's not coincidental. Wait, please. She seems to start because of me a pleading look. I said what you did to that man. Are you, um, are you one of them? What are you talking about? Who's them? She bares her teeth and taps the side of her neck. Oh, I get it. Ah, so you're the deepest delight. She blushes innocently like I just caught her stealing cookies. Yes, it sounds silly, I know, Python. Thought if... It would attract some of you, um, you know, some of your kind. What if it told I taste good? Would you, would you like to try? Just in the same way a junkie who hasn't had his head for a while or had a syringe. You know too much. There's no way you don't have a patron of some sort. I still up again. I do, but maybe I don't, I, I don't know anymore. He shows up when nobody wants to disappear. Luis, I don't, I don't even know his name. We were supposed to meet here tonight, but... Yeah, he didn't show up, the girl keeps talking. Now that she has found someone new to open up to, and he has she might have had to remain secret to was gone. She wondered who it without a good idea did to bruise the masquerade for her. Probably might used to have a cow girl for She was one of the deepest two, but she was exceptional, noble. Did you care about me in a way? She always complimented the way it tastes. Would you like a try? Please find out like I am. I can have Jesus Christ and Kurt Cobain at the same time descend from heaven exclusively to turn her misery to bliss. I can't help but fear some disdain. Please promise you won't be disappointed. No, I won't be. Yeah, I'm too hungry for that. I also like to pretend I'm something better than hungry from time to time. You can reveals. But, eh, I mean, why would you, you use some power? You've used blood. You should probably replace that blood you use. And the hunger gets to bear me, but somehow I don't mind. This is what she wants, isn't it? Quick look around, no boys paying attention. Why would they? We're just two random girls who seem to be into each other. I gently grab the back of her head and put my lips closer to her neck. She feels through tremors of excitement. The body down, her body softens. Then I drink safe from each sip. It's very tasty and incredible, like an unfulfilled promise, sweet, sweet innocence. As soon as I'm done, she leaves her fur and weakened, but undoubtedly relieved. I would. I help her sit down on the floor. She smiles at me, joy glinting in her eye. Thank you, that was. I really need that. My, my name's. Don't talk, just rest for a while. Leave her alone in the stable. She doesn't seem to mind. Looks like I did the right thing. Right? Leave the booming sound of the club behind me and get on with my night. Oh, I gotta do a no feed. Bunny has report. And the lower left of my old drop, he's Bunny has report. Should could be with words long time now see? What does he have to want to do with the ghost of Christmas past not on the door? Ah, the cemetery. Honestly, sweeping through Evergreen Cemetery in search of new night awards was the last thing I was supposed to be doing tonight. Yet here I am. The past refused to let me out. I was going to be here for a few days. 
Hell, Black Lemo was running me over on my way here. Eh, yeah, I'm sure Kaiser won't mind running me over a few times. Just can't get a break, can I? Takes me less than a minute to find Nigel. Then this is the gravestone of John Bunny. One of the most famous actresses of the 1910s. Why, that was early. Well, I... Well, the man's paranoid, which is why we were forced to come up with such an unpredictable method of choosing rendezvous points. It had to be ambiguous enough to seem in. It's general to a casual onlooker, but recently I uh, complicated so that this dumbass couldn't mess it up. We decided on silent film matters. Whenever we wanted to meet, he left me a note with an obscure movie title. Then I only had to look up who started and made my way to the final resting point place. I feel so goofy and unnecessary, but. So it's been fun, and Ridley Woods was paranoid would be a classic case of the pot cowing the kettle black. There he is, hiding away on his time on his smartphone. After swiping left for a noticeable increase in frustration, too many girls who actually know what they want from life in a row, Nigel? Don't worry, I'm definitely not that type. We see me you asked us if we just seen a ghost, a regular comedian. Then how to feel feet away from me and cross his arms giving me a dirty look. Oh, what do I want for your voice? With <laughs> that face. Well, what the hell are you up to these days, Olansky? Oh, busy for your old pal. You're never right. You never call. There's a completely unconvincing frown, but quickly leaves it bursting into sincere laughter. Shit, Joe, it's not gonna lie, it's good to see you. Looking good, gal. I mean, you're still all doom and gloom, and even paler than usual. But always had a soft spot for your bony ass. Come here, I'll give your uncle a hug. Warner slap his face. Give him the look. I worked for Nigel long enough for us to set on some base non proper centers for improved communication, by which I mean I still don't have to get his shit together. Surprised to find that there was an instinct or co thing, as if I mortified adapted it to it so well in the past that we asked the same way, even though that's dead. Alright, alright, I get. I think we used to. I just think we used to. And I cut to the chase words. It was an assumption, right? I have only so much patience for your in innuendos. What do you want? I still could to get right to the point, huh? Very well. Been trying to put together a piece. On some particularly unseemly business in the deep web. Why might plus point me in the direction of Devil Spire saying that? Devil Spire, I'm not surprised that name keeps coming up again and again. Still kind of haunts me, of course. I made sure it would. I still keep tabs on my company from time to time, constantly living those 16 months I slaved away for nothing. Oh yeah, now that I think about it, couldn't this Jesse Montgomery technically be a vampire? Or at least relate, maybe a ghoul or something? And that's why they... And that's why they undermined me? So I they could preserve his position? Hmm. I mean, just for no part of Kevin's hate so much, but I have a feeling that even if that wasn't the case, Brian would still be, be told to kill the story. The deal in this internet was... Going by the name of Hope. She supposedly had some dealings with the uh, Montgomery clan. Ever heard of her? Ah, uh, yes, Hope. I'm supposed to actually be looking into her. And as for the concept, can't say I'm familiar with the person in question either. Why, of course. Thinking apathy, the name strikes the core, being one of the four charted down on Callahan's list. Coincidence? Here it's just I shouldn't believe in these. So as I can tell. She's most of ours of kinky porn or stuff and following. Girl for Porphyria? 
Bye, maybe lots of blood, shit's poor lying a coat. I covered balloon though. I think someone's after me. So I've got a few useful leads, which I'd happily exchange for some instruments before I go a well interested. I think those few leads are completely worthless. But with his luck, he might re he really might have stayed straight in dangerous wars. What's useful to him might prove useful to me. My long way even though I'm no longer in this line of work. You expect me to buy you until sight unseen? No, no, it's not. You'll break down for me. I won't screw you over. You know me better than that. Sai's so always sizes me up and down. After a brief moment, he raises his voice again. Alright. Alright. What do you want to know? Uh, so what about Hobo? Go. Got something worth pursuing? Maybe. She's an enigma. Total fucking mystery. The only thing I'm certain of is that she exists and enjoys streaming for her exclusive audience. And that works for Thang, wasn't it? Suppose she sees into your cryptocurrencies. You know, those Bitcoin things. I can never make any sense of it. This grandpa. I know, but I promise you that someone would have analyzed a juicy story for someone like you to pursue. Hell, I have a hunch that if we join forces, we might really hit big this time. But... Poor idiot. It's in terms of his sounds like a cheap pulp novel. No one in the right mind is going to pay a dime for it. He'll ruin his credit bill if he still has any. If he's just a sphere... Spreading this poetry will probably completely neutral his ability to harm us eventually. But if the Ivy Tower get it, we're... Waiting for that to his crater is going to get involved. He's going to ask questions and answer script. Both me and Nigel are in trouble. Y'all be quiet, Joe. Speak up. You're creeping me out. Nah. Sorry, Nigel. Just a bit, but still. What? Freezing places are catered to his eyes. There is no blood traffic or secret tour force going on in New York City. You had nothing on which to double spiral, and there was no hope. You made all of it up. I do have instead. Is an on Trojan book about hot and hair commands masculine and Going to do your research and going to pitch the book to everyone as a real expert on the subject. Sounds like a complete purpose. Perplet suppressing layers of rerun memories with his mouth wide open, stuck in a bizarre pose. He looks like a total goofball. Can't yeah, but snort. John finally. When it compel. Especially for a guy who really follows his programming and a comedy of errors and sewers. He's going to recover on a couple minutes, but I'm not stuck around. The trick has taken so on me, and I can only keep my fingers crossed that it sticks. I have to bear the memory of this meeting along with the rest of my past. When I spoke to him, I had to see Crater. My cut. My kind for to arrange me in the place that most that's most convenient for me. Oh, are we going to my place? I think we're going to my place. Just this there's a different camera angle from Big Beat Burger. D'Angelo Hope Tamika Agathon. I suppose that's better than nothing, but no evidence, really? I suppose as if someone had already cleaned up most of the Eringrius stuff before I arrived. Sounds like the Anarchs. Definitely try and check that place again. But if, if you, oh, I need some sort of expert to come here and advance investigator who would show me the rope someone tall and handsome, maybe? Yeah, if you don't mind a different incident, I'll go with you. Any better ideas? Actually, this note gave me one. But we need to set up first. I'll get back to you about that. You know these people? Who are in passing contact with each of them? Part or parts of the job, you know. Suppose can you help me out with this? Where attacker would would be? Look at one person on the list every night and ask around about them and see what you what they know if you do manage to meet them. If I manage to meet them? They're not particularly easy to get a hold of. Always prefer to be 
a little off script, but nowadays they're all practically in hiding, if not MA, IA, or dead. Funny coincidence? Not my job to speculate. In other words, he knows something, but it's not liberty to say. I guess I'll find out anyway, if I do meet them. And why one night should I investigate every loose thread until we're satisfied? In a perfect world, you'd have all the time you, need, you needed, but this is not a perfect world. I try to prove for, or say, solution to the case as soon as possible. But that four nights from now, one of the several of power, although I'll ask for your findings, and that will be all. Great. Super. Well, that's fucked up. To be really honest, my focus is. Wouldn't be on solving the murder. Instead, I'd focus on unbalancing yourself. So here's the thing. So you're telling me to go go and investigate four people, right? Uh, each on a different night. But yet, at the same time, you're telling me it's going to be over in four nights. Regardless, so... Why don't I just go find all these people at once, so that way I can have more time to assess the murder. Eh, anyway. Gameplay, gameplay. Gotta space things out. Fucked up. This is part why I didn't want you to get involved. You couldn't possibly think I'd tell had you involved out of the goodness of his heart. Oh, I totally had her involved out of the goodness out of my heart. The entirety of your investigation is just for show. Sure. You're meant to be on a waiting after. Maybe I should just call me and be like... You know, these, fuck these kind of condescending ivory tower clowns. I want to work with you. I think if I was with Anna, they'd probably... Probably Derek even shitter to ask me, and if that's a really big if they don't know, if they are some kind of inside agent in the first place. Better search a camera over. But if they help him stab me in the back average after me, maybe it's time to think about how I can repay the favor. Play dirty, no matter what greater things a bit. Troll. Well I'm saying there's no other way but up. A penny for your thoughts? I could drive him a cigarette. Yeah, this one doesn't matter. And the last one was some hecky thing. I didn't expect a random amount of kindness. This kind of boat as well. That's just how the camera works, isn't it? More often than it's necessary, I'd say, but this time it's a risky play. Apparently, uh, if one simply displays some cunning, they can unexpectedly turn a situation like this to their advantage. The court. Part of the court assumes that you're unable to surprise them in this regard, but if you do, by the end of this investigation, you might as well pull yourself out of the ditch you're in. I've been nice to remember, so, uh, we try to go first. You go with me. As it happens, I was ordered out here because I was ordered to drive Isling to the art hall. I guess the name of her protege. Oh, so that's who Agatha is. Or was, nobody knows. It's a complicated thing, you'll see. One of the clocks, so let's get a move on. I'll lead the way, big bad wolf. Still not done with this bit? Not while I'm still bothering you. I'm leaving you behind if you don't keep up. Dot 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 As I already told you, Crater, and numerous times at that, I have no idea what happened with Agathon. Broadway Chantry. For the Chantry of the Five Burrows is Isaac's usual hangout place these past few nights. She's in a hurry, not willing to talk. Do you have any idea of how I was connecting to Kendra going by the names of Tamika, Dancho, and Hope? Here's the thing. Because going from game A to game B without having, you know, 
your usual thing from going from first game to second game, you know, these choices were actually chosen. That's one of those things that does bother me to a degree. Because when you go from a first game to a second game, you know, from... Though, to be fair, can we really consider this a sequel? So are its own. They are both their own things, except for this connection hill. The problem, though, is yeah. We go to basically a sequel, and you don't have a way to carry over, like let's say saves or choices you made in the first game. Yeah, it sort of comes into a problem because basically your default ending. Because, well, you know how Coteries ended. Uh, unless you didn't watch Coteries. It only had one ending. But the choices you made up to that point, like, did you help? Like, Tamika or D'Angelo, which we did. We didn't really work with Hope at all that time. The problem, though, is because of the way it's written, the game just assumes that you helped all four of them. Even if you did or didn't, it just assumes that's what you did. You helped all four of them. All four of them were part of your coterie, a uh, coterie. All four of them showed up to help you at the end, for like you know, brief ten minutes, and then they were gone. That's what the game assumes, basically. But since we didn't actually do it that way, it's they're just slightly jarring that they bring up all of them. And no connection to such things, but anyway. I don't know, I made a point to keep a relationship strictly professional. Strictly professional, I never met her in his personal affairs. That's the influence of work that is, but it only happened one time. Oh yeah, it's the infamous Juno case. Were there any signs he's leaving or anything that made his disappearance suspicious? Oh, I have to ask about a certain thing. Ah. Made his disappearance suspicious? No, nothing. It's quite rude of him not to give him a proper warning before he departed. Still, the sign of work is not particularly favored by folks with a perfect grasp of Sever Viver. I have no idea what that means. It's not even in the dictionary, so thanks for words that confuse me. I do hope a search will bring him back right where he started. He begged me to take him back in. The boy is talented and I did put a lot of time into mentoring him. She doesn't well, Chris Sarah Sarah. Let's get off my back. So you won't even understand possibly that he's found himself in harm's way. No answer to that one. The researcher's mind says she doesn't think it's worth considering the worst case scenario seriously and just takes things as they come. Precisely. For example, climate change scientists don't operate this way. Most would have put a boat in their own head long ago. Well, that's a cheery thought. I'd like to search the chantry for Agathon's whereabouts. Nope. Nope, nope. That's one thing about your mail. They don't like people rummaging their old chantries. You're not... Like, for example, let's go with... Strauss's chantry of bloodlines. You're allowed into a few rooms. Like, why he let you into his one study where you could just look at his computer and read his book about gargoyles, I don't know. But, for the most part, you're not really allowed into a chantry. Because they're doing their... They like to keep their blood experiments to themselves, after all. Oh, good show for we did that long ago. You'd be wasting your time and ours, for that matter. Did you say Helene was waiting for us, Quater? Yeah, you gave the girl 15 minutes, I think. A minimal support for an ongoing investigation. Besides, she has a proclivity for finding things everyone else has overlooked. 
Ten minutes after you attempt to pass this door. Or though that one up there, I can't guarantee you walk out here alive. Ah, thank you very much, High Regent. Just get on with it. Dot dot dot. Uh, apparently we're drifting to the moon. Apparently we drifted to the moon for a few. My time is practically up and I found nothing of use. It seems Agatha was completely dedicated to his work, even his personal course are as barren as it gets. No personal touch whatsoever. Nothing I could go by. It's all research, research, research. He seems like such a bore. Oh sure, what would you do if you were a warlock workaholic? Where would you leave clues to your whereabouts? Oh you do you find yourself in mortal danger and wanted Dakota to know? It's loose. Was that? Yeah, yeah. Hi, ghost. Facing this way, huh? First place where I saw the shadowy sewer appear was a brick wall, and well, the bricks is loose. Very nice thing in our room, right? No sewer discussion the party. It's not that. It's not that bad. You have to learn how to find humans the little things. It's a meaning shower. That's all there is to it. I'm gonna try to work the brick. Lose it, I can get it. Grip. Yeah, then I tug it suddenly and spot revealing a hole in the wall. So there was a book, I browsed through it quickly. I got this diary. Well, that's a bingo. Yeah, I see you over though. 10 minutes are up. So are you 15 minutes of had. Are you done, Hal? I could just get 5 more minutes, I still feel like I could stumble upon something here if I. Just look a little more. No way, Jerry, time to go. Fine, put the brick broken and I take the diary with me. Did look like I kind of left it so that someone in the chapter could find, presumably the high region. But my investigation takes priority for now. They're quite nice thing I do, and so looking for a secluded place to read the diary. Hey, remember this place? This place right here should be secluded enough for me to browse through the diary in peace. Remember this place? This one apartment. Well, we technically got embraced at back in the first one. Her okay, credit's giving the book single out sentence in the paragraph to get. They look interesting, trying to get a general idea of what kind of person Agathon was. Or is, I hope. The more I read, the clearer the image of the person becomes. He's been working on the high region for 15 years. That was an underlying shame in the way he talks about your male magic. He always describes himself as too slow in the uptake, too late to learn something, too much of an amateur. He was very into tying his self worth to his wisdom. The entry is beginning in. Two sails and travel for terror, finally, Rager. The handwriting is that strong and neat. The offer is absolutely dedicated to his studies is palpable. Is there anything to his own life besides work? It's his relationship with the three important women he holds still. First is Master, I think. Stuart Bridge, whom he reveres for his knowledge, statuticism, and awareness and experiment. And finds some details about her secret of work here. Eh? But now it looks like he was willing to risk someone finding all about his inner life, but not anything that could harm her studies. Good people serving a good mentor. I'm jealous. Second is an old warlock, as that's love Juno. If he was guilty about they had a conflict in which eyes was involved. The choose between the two each other's eyes thing. Going to Agathon, there was never real love between him and Juno. First there was just shared interest, then a growing disconnect, and ultimately guilt which made him feel responsible for her. But maybe it's just excuses. He starts me as the person Starts me the kind of person who spends most of the time inside his head. That's not like someone you could have a fulfilling romance with. I did to come out and realize this. Anyway, last but not least, Agathon's. Mm, ah, yes, I forgot about her. Agathon's mortal grandmother, Sylvia. She is the light of his life, and the person who took care of him after his parents died in a retro murder. Not quite what I expected. Grandma used to serve a cruel vampire in Magico City, and it was retribution for their escape. She was the lead tremere. Yeah, 
I believe the Tremere used to track him down, actually. Keep him alive for a long time, but a few months ago. Her heart gave up Agatha and flames and insufficient scares the kind of man who carries the entire world on his shoulders. I feel like a thing. He joined himself in work and eventually burned out, but it doesn't sound like serious there was only event that triggers depression spiral. Some kind of invention to back in 2019. Ah, yes. The things that happened. He just decides to specifics, although he, another thing he was worried about. Writing down his old vague mentions a person who made him fly too close to the sun. Well, oh, doesn't that sound familiar? Whatever happened had the same effect as... Grandma's death. New York stopped feeling like a home to him. It became airy and empty. Grotesque as words. Hit the first page. There was a recent... There's a recent photograph of him glued to the inner side of the cover. He's facing away from his camera, always showing his profile and strikers a rather dramatic pose. Or it looks kind of poserish to me. However, upon close inspection, it seems like a goodbye photo. Find a mail card glance he throws in your dress before disappearing for good. There's a single little black feather, no idea what it means. Something that's very next to the photograph with a lot of flourish. So it's like a poem. More than annoyed, sad. More than sad, unhappy. More than unhappy, suffering. More than suffering, abandoned. More than abandoned, alone in the world. More than alone, exiled. More than exiled, dead. More than dead, forgotten. The Senator of 1917 by Marie Horrinson. Look at Robert Jeffrey, so he might have resonated with his emotional state over the past few months. One point seems to confirm his intent with the diary to me. She only seems to be... She researched around 11, so he doesn't even... detail. Still, he wants some kind of time to remember who he was for posterity. That's not all, there's still a mystery to be solved. Quite feel the page is toward the end, or... Messy, but it doesn't look like we were necessarily moved to read that information. They were torn off in a way that makes it clear that the paper... Wasn't it ever used? What's more, the preceding page is empty as well. Could it be that? And that's what happens again. I know it's a bizarre shape in my preferred vision. Bleed. Tremel fucking magic, if you think about. But anyway, I turned to catch a glimpse of this fast passport's Oregon. If my heart could be fast right now, it would be jumping out of my chest. Discomfort, I mean, I've been seeing these apparitions ever since I turned into this. Which part is I feel they were always there, even as a mortal. They were there, sometimes the corner of my eye, just when I tried to look directly at them, making me think it was just my mind playing tricks on me. The part of the Night Clan, there were times they don't just feel they were. There were times they talk, there were times they try to force you to do the bidding, and worst of all, no, I don't want to think about it right now. See what my experience. They are exactly, I don't know, consistently male living. Someone in particular is trying to help. The book on the first entry page and look around to make sure nobody's staring. Because remember, to male magic. That whole thing about blood magic. Why would the book also have blood magic infused into it? So that way you have to use blood to get an idea of what the pages are considering. I see you walking over there. I cut myself just a razor keep it in my pocket, just in case. It's not a deep slice, I just want to let it drop a beat. I fall onto the page. That's when the letters appeal. We've hit it, we've used magical blood ink that you have to use blood to reveal. Because that's, you know, that's a thing. Look at me. Look at me, a tragic clown. No longer comfort that any of my people can be trusted. I turned to a fucking speck. I can't wear a speck of that. Reserve contempt. Actually, I probably shouldn't be saying half his words. Because they're gonna get me in trouble with the internet. What are you waiting for, boy? Laugh at me. Ridicule me. It's all I deserve. Come on, don't just sound like an idiot. You wanna say something? Say it. What the hell? 
The last thing I expected to happen. His diary is haunted. Seriously, quickly changing. Since this image is composed of shadows of blood, it gave me a window to another reality. Now I object to feel it's like. I can't remember some emotions similar to a happy memory dream, full of holes by an honest expression in one's mind. Maybe the interaction with me it's just a hypothesis, but I don't know why you should be coward handed. Was that there was island? Right. So I don't even look at stretching. The voice makes me feel oddly accomplished by what I need to do. Pick up the feather that was in the dark and dip it in my feet, hey. Great. And now it's the Harry Potter thing, where we have to write in the book to get responses back from the book. Then I write down. That's right, confusion. I understand why you agreed to see me, old man. But I'm confused as to why you'd agonize about that choice in front of me. It makes you seem weak, neurotic, indecisive. My own cold upon her, Lick. Not that you'd understand. Lick. And her choosing in former term is so candid from what I can tell with the camera I think it's vulgar. I don't think I ever heard of the Elysium. Think Crater. No, Crater refers to us as whelp, not lick. Whatever. Let's just get down to business. I feel like this is the way the event took place. It's more like a way to explore Agatha and some true of the way it unfolded. In case the tires reacted to me and. And some share the truth is better than nothing. It's a handy tour if I use it right. I might find some clues that could aid me in my investigation. Though a few thoughts flowing around my head like every and trying to make their way out. That also affected the diary's power? Let's try. Curse. I'm curious, where's the destiny you see in front of you? There are two paths I see laid out from me. The first one is free to bought with a horrible price. The second one is under an incomplete debasement. I haven't decided on one of these paths yet. No point for that choice might have already been made for me. Now, why are you the two you talk about? Why did you meet? Why did you put this place in me anyway? Secluded end. Now, something in the air here. The nice all the blood and magic go haywire. Just especially important. Doesn't mean you're still afraid it might be part of this element? No, because of that devil woman. Blood running cold. Oh, it's probably just a pair of notice set starts taking that old place. I could choose an image of a completely different place. I instantly get feeling of deja vu. I process the space differently. The atmosphere is different, more familiar. Homely, but this is not a mistake with the Tremere Chantry visitor tonight. Yeah, that was just the person I expect. Looks like that's from a meme with the camera hand. God damn it. What the person we were talking about in an electric and strong motion reaction was from my eyes thing. Sorry, where's my next command? Why, when, who? I region, who? Why is that naive question? I make a. I make. I think a point to have his fear strings attached to his posture of the field are kept because of the benefits they offer should be plainly obvious to you. Don't recover being part of this at all. I always thought we were busy with science, not politics. These are the words of a child, Agatha, and science has always relied on politics, and politics are its own science. Not like this, our regent. Don't embarrass me, Agatha. Not like this. When we scribble this period, and I hastily let no drop of blood fall on the page. What appears to sound is yet no primary face. Ah, uh, yes, Agatha. What is it you want to tell me? <laughs> Fuck you. I beg your pardon. Poppy vanishes. Your eyes, if I could ever give her courage to say this to your face. At least I could do it is try and stab you in the back. Now you're in so I spell a little more feature on the page, but no longer works. I suppose that's it. So you don't know what happened to Agathon. Is he alive or is he dead? Ah, yes, yeah, time to make this decision. So here's the thing. This one matters. So here's the thing. Do you see the glass is half full or the glass half empty? If you say alive, it's heading towards the bad ending, so you have to say it dead. You can't be positive, you have to say it be negative. I know, right? 
He's dead, no doubt about it. They're just... Too many powerful folks to vote, and every time I've seen the diary, he felt like a noose tying around his neck. Turns to believe he's dead because that's the most rational thing to do. Trade update. I'm a class half empty buzzkill. Class half empty. Yep, you have to make choices that, yeah. I'm not sh I'm not sure they resonate that much with me. Remember, I'm neutral evil to the point where it's also technically, it varies between neutral evil and neutral good in a way. I'd say actually I'm probably a bit more toward somewhere in the, I won't say in the true neutral category because true neutral is too much balance between the two and fuck that shit. I'm neutral evil in the way that's basically, I'm looking out for myself. If that means I have to do good things to get rewards that benefit me, yeah, sure. Because the problem, though, is most most things that go with the whole neutral evil are like, well, let's say, let's go with Baldur's Gate 1. Everyone, uh, evil party members are all, oh, why are we doing good things? But th at the same time, you also have to think of things basically in mitts between A, from the story perspective, and B, from a game perspective. Because from story perspective, oh no, we're doing good things, yeah. But from a game perspective, we're getting, re we're get depends, are we getting paid for it? Or are we getting rewards for it? Or are we getting XP for it? Because yeah, if we're getting XP or any of the above, then yes, it's worth doing. Even if it is demeaning and entirely too good, so long as we're making, you know, something out of it, it's benefiting us as a neutral evil character. Even if it is a good thing we're doing, so long as it's, you know, benefiting our progress, it still technically befits us. You know, doing good things for evil reasons, or personal rewards. But anyway, in any case, I think it's time to pay a visit to the art hall. I think that's what we're gonna call it for this video. Cause we've been cause we went over an hour, and I'm a bit tired. So yeah. I know our target tends to leave the Elysium leave the leave the quite often to take us a fresh show and messy people on his blackberry, so I just wait until I see him. But that's for next time. Hope you all enjoy. Thank you all. And have a nice day. And next time we come back with Thomas Adario. Ah, oh, that is so great to have him back again. Isn't that great? I I lost the boy somewhere though. You need to have a bit more of a self and draw to it. And we'll figure it out once we get back. Anyway, that's done.